If you're it's Emily, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a current favorite slash summer favorites video. So I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I've been loving lately, makeup, fashion, plus a few random things. So let's do this. For every day, I've been loving using a BB cream and I've been using this one. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin, which I do have. This has been great on a daily basis. It's definitely like light medium coverage. It's not overly drying. It doesn't create any dry patches, but it also helps control the oil. And it's just been a perfect staple for every day when I just want to slap something on, but don't want something that is like super heavy or full coverage. So this has been a staple for me during the summer. But whenever I want something that will be full coverage, stay all day I go back to my trusty Lancome Te Idol uh, ultra 24 hour makeup foundation this is what I'm wearing currently right now actually let me know if you want me to do a uh, full coverage sweat proof waterproof uh, foundation routine because I did try to film it but for some reason the lighting was looking kind of funny which sucks because I was breaking out like crazy and you could see how well this was covering so maybe I will just refilm it and include some like snippets so you can see how well it covers but right now I'm like not breaking out, which is like the only time where you're like sad of not breaking out, you know? Because I want to show the coverage. <laughs> but anyway, this is just a great foundation if you want something that is like super full coverage that lasts all day. I've used this back in the day when my skin was really dry and it was still not overly drying. Obviously you make sure to exfoliate and moisturize, but it lasts all day and it looks flawless and it doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup either for something that is full coverage. So definitely a great staple for me. Like I was saying, like this is what I'm wearing right now on my face and it's just fabulous. For reference, by the way, I'm wearing the color 220C. They have a great range of colors, like 40 colors. So you will definitely find something for you. Speaking of Lancome, I've been testing their new mascara. This is the Monsieur Big mascara and I'm actually wearing it today. I'm not wearing any eyeliner or any falsies because I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like and actually let me zoom you in. I have been wearing this mascara on a daily basis and as you can see it gives me a ton of volume, it curls my lashes a little bit and it emphasized the length of my lashes. It isn't overly clumpy. It has natural bristle which I know a lot of people prefer. Personally I'm not that difficult with brushes but surprisingly curled my lashes. I feel like sometimes natural bristle can't like really give you that lift but definitely not an issue with this one. Doesn't smudge, doesn't flake. Definitely something that I've been using on a daily basis. You can see it for yourself. It gives me really fantastic lashes without having to go crazy and like pile up two, three different mascara to get the look that I want. Let's go with eyes because I did this look using this new palette and I'm really excited. I've only tried it a couple times but I still wanted to give it a shout out because it's a new product and I'm excited to start using it. And it is the new Naked palette. This is the Heat palette. And look at those gorgeous summer warm shades. I have been having a lot of fun with it. There's a bunch of nude, not nude, matte shades, which I feel like so often palettes forget about those classic neutral uh, mid-tone type of browns, which big mistake because those are the ones that I use the most and they have so many. They have like eight matte shades. So you have like five of them right here. Like how gorgeous is this? Like so many looks you can do with this. And there's also some great uh, shimmery color. Actually, let me just swatch them a couple in my hand which I know you might have seen like swatches online of like really bad pigmentation and honestly, I haven't had an issue with it. So I don't know if it's just the swatches that were... But for example, this color uh, Lombre is what I'm wearing all over my lid and it's just absolutely stunning. Like you can see it, like it's just gorgeous and they have Scorch, they have Dirty Talk, like there's so many great... They are fairly similar, but to be honest, it's just the colors that I like so I kind of don't mind it. Like how gorgeous is this? Like definitely a great palette. If you love like those like warm reddish uh, type of uh, colors, definitely a palette that you will get a lot of use out of. So far I'm definitely very happy with it but I cannot wait to see what looks I can come up with because I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of like warm matte eyeshadow look with this one too. Another palette that I've been using a ton for the summer has been obviously the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I feel like a lot of people were like expecting it to be more peachy, which I definitely agree, but there's definitely so many great shades. Again, there's like some warmer browns here. Some of my favorite color would have to be obviously just peachy, which is just a peachy shade. And you have Candy Peach, which is just the peach color in the palette. But they also have great matte brown, like some of them. You have Puree. Luscious is a great shimmery shade too. So. Another palette that has so many great shades. I've been wearing it a ton. Like I didn't know how much I would wear it. I was a little intimidated by it, but 
I have been using it pretty much on a daily basis and I've been having a lot of fun with it. But now I have a few options from the drugstore. So if you don't want to fully commit to the full palette and you want those uh, shimmery, metallic, peachy, orangey shade, I have a few drugstore options for you. The first one is definitely a classic. You probably have heard of it, but I mean, it's so good that I just need to mention it. Every summer I go back to it because I feel like during the winter is a bit too orangey for me. But during the summer, I definitely need to use the L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush Eyeshadow. This is amazing. This is just a staple, and I feel like I keep hearing you rumor that it's going to be discontinued. I don't know if it's true, I hope it's not, because these are absolutely awesome, and this color in particular is just... Look at this. Like, this just screams summer to me. It's just awesome. Everyone needs this color. It's just perfect. But if you want something that is a little bit more on the peachy side, NYX has some great options. Those are the prismatic eyeshadows and I have two great colors to suggest. The first one is Golden Peach and if you want just a little bit of that pinky peachy shade, this is great. Their prismatic eyeshadows are absolutely amazing and this one is the uh, Golden Peach. They have a bunch of them that are also Drew Chrome, which I'm a big fan of. And the other color I wanted to recommend is this one. This color is Fireball and definitely very similar to what I'm wearing right now. So. I would recommend this one, so gorgeous. Like, look at this. Again, like I was saying, very similar to what I'm wearing. So if you're looking for a drugstore alternative to that specific look, would recommend checking out NYX eyeshadows. I also wanted to mention this eyeliner. I have kind of a complicated relationship with it because I really love it, but I feel like I can't use it on its own because I need to top it off with an eyeshadow for it to really stand out and I know it's because of the formula of the metallic version. The matte versions are perfectly fine which I need to buy a couple but the shimmery one which is the one that was obviously my favorite one since it's the one that I own is a little and it's this color. This is the Tarte uh, Clay Pot in Rose Gold and I have been wearing this a ton. I've actually wore it in a couple videos too and it's great. I just really like it. Actually let me swatch it. My hand. Can I do that? <laughs> So as you can see, it's just a gorgeous rose gold color, but I feel like whenever I use it, actually even if I do it on my hand, you can kind of see it. It's not fully, fully opaque because it is kind of a pale color. So I feel like for it to stand out on my skin tone, I kind of need to apply an eyeshadow on top for it to really like pop. So I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of want it to be like a little bit more opaque. But at the same time, I've been wearing it so many times that I just have to admit to myself that I really, really love it. It's not perfect, but I definitely think it's worth the effort to make it work. So as you can see, it's just gorgeous. I've worn it a couple of times and I just really like it. Once it sets, it sets. Like this thing is waterproof. Like it will not budge. Let's go with lips. Uh, it's more about colors than specifically these lipsticks because when summer comes, I have like three pretty much look that I go for even though I always like to mix and match with lipstick, but actually we just realized they're all drugstore, which I mean, the more the better. The first one is from the new L'Oreal line. Those are the Color Riche uh, matte lipstick that just came out. And this color is Masterpiece, matte masterpiece. And it's one of the color I'm wearing on my lips. I kind of did a mix, but basically I love those nude with a hit of peach. I feel like they're super easy to wear if you're just starting out with colors and you don't want to go too bold. This is a great option and I definitely love matte lipstick. I'm just realizing all of these are matte. I feel like I keep saying to myself, oh, I'm almost over matte lipsticks, but then I'm constantly wearing matte lipsticks, so. But yeah, this is a great color, as you can see. It's just a great nude hit of peach. Maybelline has a couple in their new line, uh, like Naked Coral, they have Peach Buff, and they have Honey Pink, which is definitely brighter, but like it gives you an idea of like what type of colors to go for, so definitely, my type of color. If I want something that is a little bit more nude or brown, a classic for me is the Milani Matte Naked Lipstick, which clearly I have used a lot. And it's the other color that I'm wearing on my lips. And this one is definitely a little bit more cool tone, a little bit more brown, but it's just a staple, something that is in my purse. It smells like vanilla, very comfortable, love it. And last but not least, I love a bold orangey red color. And I needed to mention this one. This is the new Maybelline Super State Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. And I'm actually not really willing to swatch it because this will stay on your hand like crazy. Like when I did a lip swatch video on them, I had all the swatches on my arm and I waited for them to fully dry, which fun fact, I just use a hair dryer. 
And when it was time to remove it, I had to use oil on my arm six times. Six times for it to be completely gone. So kind of a pain in the butt to swatch on your arm, but on your lips, it means that this will last all freaking day. That's the color I was wearing when I went to my uh, Toronto meetup. And I was on Instagram in my stories showing you how it lasted like for like 12 hours and it just looked exactly the same. So it will not budge. It's a little sticky when you first apply it, but once it fully dries, it just doesn't move at all. So I've been absolutely loving wearing these. I also like to mix and match the colors, just mix them together to find my perfect color because they don't dry instantly. It gives you a little bit of time to just create your own personal mix. So if you were looking for a waterproof, super long wearing liquid lipsticks, I would definitely recommend checking out the new Maybelline ones. I always have a hard time choosing a reasonable amount of cheap products because it's one of my weakness, so I'm gonna go very quickly through them because otherwise I could literally mention half my collection. But highlighters, I love during the spring summer to go back towards those cream highlighters, which is basically the only time I use them. I don't know why because I know you can totally wear them all year round, but one of my favorite one has to be this one by LA Girl. This is the Velvet Highlight Contour Stick. The name is almost gone because of how much I love it. This color is the color Luminous. It's my favorite out of the three that they have. I feel like this one doesn't have a chunk of glitter. And there's another one that doesn't look like there's much of a sheen, but this one is just the perfect... Every time I swatch it, I just fall in love with it. Like, look how gorgeous this is. So as you can see, it just gives you that perfect amount of sheen. It's very natural on an everyday basis. I'll just apply some BB cream and then I just stick that on my uh, cheekbones. And it's so natural, so perfect on a daily basis. You can obviously top it off with something else if you want something more intense that will literally last all day. But on its own, just with a little bit of BB cream, it's just awesome. Just a very natural glow, which, you know. You could pretend that it's all natural. <laughs> bronzers, I'm kind of boring. I feel like the only thing I've been using are the Too Faced chocolate bronzers. The milk chocolate is about to hit pan because I've been using this so, so much. And it's just that perfect highlighter bronzer <laughs> because it's not overly dark, it's not overly yellow, and it's the perfect color if you want a matte bronzer if you have light skin. So I can use this all winter without being scared that I'm gonna end up with like really dark streaks on my face. I mean, you can, oh, you can kind of see it. So even now I can still use this and it's not overly dark. It's easy to build up, but it's also easy to blend it. And whenever I get a little bit darker, I just go towards the medium shade, which is this one. This is the Chocolate Soleil. If I swatch it next to it, you can see it's definitely much darker, but also very easy to blend and they smell like chocolate, so. Blush is definitely where I go completely unreasonable, so very, very quickly. I like to either go with very shimmery peachy looks like the uh, Too Faced, this is the Sweet Peach Blush, really adore this one, or the NARS Deep Throat. It's just that perfect pinky peachy, it's not overly orangey, not too dark for me, and it's just something that I've been using a ton, which clearly you can see that the design is like pretty much gone, which is sad, but it's a great blush, it smells like peach, something I've been using a ton. You can also use this as a light eyeshadow, by the way, if you don't want to buy both. The second option is for me to go with something very matte and orangey, like MAC Peaches. This is just a great one. This one is a little bit white based, so if you want something uh, that isn't, I would go with Tarte. They have uh, Blissful and there's Tipsy that are two great matte peachy color. And as you can see, this is gorgeous. Super easy to wear because it is a sheer tone, so it's not fully intense right away, so you can build it up. And last category for me is those kind of boring looking blushes, but they look almost between a bronzer and a blush. They're perfect for the summer because you can use them for both or just because you're getting a little bit more color to kind of go very well with your look. There's this one that is the lightest one. This one is the Balm, uh, Balm Beach blush. And as you can see, there's just a hint of like pinky peachy color in there and it's a great color. There is uh, Benefit Dallas. It's another perfect one that's kind of mauve color looking, but on me it's kind of a bronzer blush as you can see or like i know mac has a couple one this one is the color buff which i believe is not discontinued i feel like mac went on a spree of like just getting rid of all my favorite blushes so hopefully this one isn't one of them but they have a couple uh, similar ones as you can see it's just in between and that's actually what i'm wearing on my cheek so it's definitely that perfect like give you a little bit of color but kind of bronzy looking so another great matte blush 
I now have a couple uh, fashion favorites. I wanted to mention anything denim because I have been completely obsessed with everything that looks like denim. Like, I'm currently wearing a dress, you won't be able to really see it. But this is a gorgeous dress that I got on ASOS. I'll try to find a picture and include it. Fun story, that actually isn't fun for me. I saw it on ASOS like four months ago and I wanted to order it, but I was like, oh, it's kind of expensive, do I really need it? And I didn't buy it. The next day I was like, you know what, Emily, you go back and you buy it. And obviously it was sold out. So I had to stock the website for four months for it to go back in stock in a size small. So, so if you see something that you love on ASOS, buy it right away because you will never see it again. So I'm very, very happy I found it. I love it. I was wearing it again in my meetup uh, in Toronto and I just really adore it. But I have so many denim everything, so it's not very difficult for me to show you more. This one is kind of a blouse with like cold shoulder uh, look. Again, denim, this one was for uh, Forever 21. It's in a size uh, small. It's a little bit on the big side, but I really, really enjoy it. It's super pretty when it's on, which, but it's just a cute little something when it's not overly warm, which it's been raining pretty much every day here for like weeks. So it hasn't been that warm yet, but I still am hopeful. <laughs> and I've been really obsessed with anything blue, clearly, but anything that is off the shoulder, I've been loving that trend for the summer. And this one was just another shirt. As you can see. So basically just another uh, elastic off the shoulder type of top. This one was from uh, Boohoo and it was in a size 4 and I would definitely recommend uh, if you're getting this shirt to get it like a size down because this is huge. I've been really loving it. I feel like it's perfect. Again with that lipstick it's just the perfect summer combo. Shout out to my favorite uh, sandals that I've been wearing basically every single day of my life it feels like. and. It's those gorgeous Gladiator uh, Steve Madden shoes, which I'm not going to show you the bottom because I've been wearing them a lot. And they're just amazing. And I love that the back, there's just the uh, little zippers because I cannot deal with shoes that hurt my feet. Like all those cute little shoes that end up giving you blisters. Nuh-uh, I don't want those. So I've been loving anything that has those zippers and I just really like it. I don't really love my feet, so I feel like this covers any like veins and everything and it's been amazing. They're very comfortable, totally worth the money. Also shout out to uh, any jewelry pieces that has those like comes from the back type of little details. I've been really enjoying these. These ones are from uh, Forever 21. I have another pair right here. Like anything that has those like a little something in front and then the back has something else. I don't know why, but I've been really obsessed with that look. So these are probably my favorite ones. I've also just finished the TV series, The Handmaid's Tale, and I read the book and I feel like the TV series was so much better than the book. I highly recommend watching it. I feel like it has so many like actual important topic for right now. It was inspired from the dystopian novel and the dystopia is not very far from reality. So if you were looking for a new a great TV show to watch, I definitely recommend you watch this one. I cannot wait for season two. I also always like to add a favorite book and it's gonna be hard to just choose one. So I think I'm gonna cheat and choose two. And if you want to see any other ones, I will link down below my book channel, which is Books with Emily Fox. And I wanted to give you a few options. So if you want something that is a quick read, but is also sci-fi, I recommend you read. Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Novel, and first of all, that cover is gorgeous, and underneath, it's even better. Like, how stunning is this book? And it reads all, like, interviews, so if you have read, for example, uh, World War Z, it's basically kind of similar. It's such a fast read because of it. It's 300 pages, but you can read this so quickly. It's super entertaining. Basically, you're following a team of people finding pieces to a giant robot, and then you learn, is it aliens, what's going on, and it's definitely super interesting, and the ending will hook you up. And I actually read also the second one, which I also recommend. So if you were looking for a great fast read that is sci-fi, definitely the one I would recommend. And if you're looking for something that is more like contemporary, I would recommend going with a man called Uva, which I listened to the audiobook and completely fell in love with it. And the best way to describe it is it's kind of a mix of Up, the movie Up and the movie Gran Torino. So basically an old grumpy man that doesn't like his neighbors, but 
actually there's a lot more going on in his life that you just learn throughout the book and it's a great contemporary. It will definitely uh, make you feel a lot of things, but I think it's a great read for the summer. So that's it guys, those are all my current favorites. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these products, if you have read any of these books or watched a TV series, and we can all discuss it in the comments. Don't forget to let me know also what are your current favorites. Give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm looking outside my window I try to see where my luck goes I just don't know how it's lit